Expectations are for our students to be part of a rigorous education, to graduate knowing what they want to do as far as their career pathway is concerned, uh, to be an active part of the, our academy structure, and to graduate in four years. The expectations of our high school students is really to be college career community ready. I think, I think our school does an excellent job in exposing the students to world outside of high school. It's not just for school, right, but it's for life after school. It's, it's those skills that you need to do well in life, right? You need to be able to be good communicators. You need to be able to solve problems on your own. You need to be responsible and independent. You need to be um, able to work well with others, and um, that's important for us as a school, too, because students like that will represent us well. But they really have to take ownership of their learning and understand that we believe that they can do so much more beyond high school, and it doesn't end with a diploma. So I don't, it's sometimes hard to describe because unless you work in the environment you understand but when I meet with teachers when I go in and do classroom observations when I sit in on a smaller learning community meeting that really is conveyed whole school that it is the expectation we're not gonna pass your kid because they show up you we are we expect them to perform at a level like so we know that they are achieving the standards well we we pride ourselves on on our reputation we pride ourselves on our level of excellence. We pride ourselves on our products of what our students um, that that come out of here and goes along with our, our staff um, as well. Our smaller learning communities are based on careers. So we follow the CTE um, pathways. The idea of an SLC is that you have a cohort of kids with the same teachers, the same cohort of teachers, and so they get to know one another very well by the time they graduate. So every child in Waikia High School, we try to make them in an academy. It's that whole idea of personalization, which means that every student belongs somewhere and they have teachers that they uh, they will see year after year. They have advisory teachers that they'll have for the next three years that will get to know them. The promise I make to all ninth grade parents when they come in, the, the very first promise I make is one, we'll get your kid graduated in four years. But the next one is ensuring that our students know what they want to do when they graduate. That when you ask them after graduation, what is it that you want to go or what career you want to pursue, you, you should not get an I don't know. I think it's a responsibility to our community. You know, anytime as a school, you're still you're one cog in the wheel and the community, you have to have that output. And we have to make sure that we are giving our community informed citizens, productive citizens, kids who can make choices for themselves and understand what their strengths are, what their needs are, and even with those needs, how do I work around those needs? Because every single one of us has that. We never give up. I mean, times get so tough. Our students can be so challenging, and a lot of them have very sad stories, and we just continue on. Yeah, we continue on, we, we don't give up, we persevere, and we look for opportunities for our students to be successful. I think what I'm most proud of is our students. I think as a whole, we have students that really ex you know, can excel by providing them many different opportunities to excel. Having these high expectations on, on our campus um, prepares our students. The kids, when they, when they graduate, they know that they've earned something that, that will mean something to them and they're belonging to the school. This has been a four-year valuable experience for them that genuinely prepares them for, for the next level.